Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo Tutorial. Now, in a Facebook group that I'm in, someone asked whether it was possible to have a floating window of the image that they already had open. But it could be a floating window of any other image. And by that, I mean it, it is not attached to the sort of interface of Affinity Photo. They wanted to have it as a separate smaller version next to the image that they're going to edit so they would have the original version sort of here on the right or the left or whatever side they want it and they can compare what they've edited to what it originally started like now I've I just I and other people sort of just said well you could just sort of click and drag it down and make it float and they said but you can't do that on the Mac because I do all my on a PC I've never owned or used a Mac so this seems to be quite a variation between the Windows version of Affinity Photo and the Mac version of Affinity Photo so first of all I'm going to show you sort of how I do it on a PC and the easiest way is to sort of click on the name of the tag, this image by the way I just got from pixabay.com but I just click on the tab for this image and click and drag it down and it comes away from the interface and it is a floating window so you can put it wherever you want and if you just bring it back to the top and when you get, it goes blue and you release it will become back part of the main interface so let me just make a copy of this layer so I do copy and then file and new from clipboard so I now have two images open both with the same image this being the copy image I will click and drag this down so it is floating and then it's just a case of resizing it to whatever size you want want it to be. Let's, let me just bring this in a bit more, like that. And once you've got it the size you want it to be, then press Control and Zero, or on a Mac it would be Command and Zero, and that image will fit whatever size you make this box. Let me just make that a bit bigger there. Control and zero and that will fit the box that it is floating in. So that is the original version that this person wanted to sort of have as a comparison next to the version they're going to edit. So you do need to make sure you are back on the tab or you know the tab that's attached to the interface before you make edits otherwise you'll be editing this version so if, say for example you wanted to make it black and white you can add the black and white um, adjustment and sort of make a few adjustments and as you can see you can now easily compare the one I'm editing to the original version which is the copy so that is how I would do that on a PC um, and let me put this attach this back to the top up here so again we've got the two versions now I mean I like I said I've never used a Mac but I'd be very surprised if you just can't click and drag hang on, where is it? click and drag a, like that and make it a floating window but I assume that it can't be done because this person said that that couldn't that it didn't work that way now there's also in the Windows version there is in the Windows menu you click on that and you've got the option float and float all now obviously if I click float all both of these will become floating windows but if I just click on float the one that is currently highlighted, which should be this one, will become a floating window. 
and you can resize and do it that way. But that, that option, the float option in the window menu, does not seem to be in the Mac version. So I was having a look around on the internet and there is this video made by MacProVideo.com called Affinity Photo 101 A Beginner's Guide and on roughly about 2 minutes 10 into the video in the window menu there is a separated mode and if I just move this along, well, before I do press play there also does seem to be down here clean up floating windows which I've no as I haven't got a Mac I can't tell you what that does um, you'd have to check that out for yourself because that option is not in the Windows version that I have so I'll just press play here and click and as you can see all those windows that he had open become floating windows so I'm guessing that that is still in the current Mac version so you just go to the Windows menu and use separated mode so let me just come back to this so that is how I would do what this person wanted either just click and drag it down and resize it and get it to fit next to the image I'm going to edit or use the window menu and use float or in a Mac version separated mode so hopefully that answers the person's question so thank you for watching and goodbye